Did you know that there are thousands of varieties of corn? Some are better for eating fresh, others are good for popcorn, and still others are better for grinding into flour. As food consumers, we want food to be tasty and rich in energy and nutrients. The farmers who grow the food want their crops to produce well and to handle storage and transportation in order to access markets and minimize food waste. Plant breeding is a foundational agricultural practice that strengthens our food system so it works for everyone, from farmers to the people who eat the food they grow. Plant breeding is the science of selecting and propagating plants with desirable characteristics to increase their overall utility and value. It has traditionally focused on developing plants' characteristics to improve flavor, increase quality or yield, or strengthen plant resistance to pests, disease, and drought. Farmers have practiced plant breeding since domestic agriculture began 10,000 years ago. Virtually every fruit, vegetable and grain that ends up on your plate tells a part of the story of our relationship with, and development of, food producing plants. For example, wheat is the product of a cross between three different grass species, which is reputed to have happened about 10,000 years ago. Our ancestors simply saved the seeds of the plants with desired traits for planting the next year. But the process of selectively adapting wild plants, also known as domestication, was quite slow. In order to speed up the process, farmers and scientists over the past 300 years have been crossbreeding plants of the same species, altering their genetic expression and creating new desirable traits in a much shorter time period. Crossbreeding of plants occurs through cross-pollination, a process where two sexually compatible plants happen to cross by virtue of pollen being naturally carried by wind or insects. More directly, plant breeders deliberately select and cross-pollinate parent plants for their specific traits, transferring the pollen from one plant to the pistillate of the other plant. In this way, they develop a plant that may rarely occur in nature, and one which has outstanding attributes of both parents. However, the development of reliable new varieties through traditional breeding takes many years if not decades. Today, crossbreeding uses molecular biology tools called marker-assisted selection to help guide and speed up the process of selecting the best parents and traits. Genetic engineering means copying a piece of genetic material from one organism and using it in another. Genetically engineered plants are called GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. While many GMOs involve the crossing of genetic material of plants solely within the same species or genus, other GMO plants contain genetic material from bacteria that provides resistance to pests or herbicides. Crops commonly modified using this technology include soybeans, corn, cotton, canola, and sugar beets. Another method of plant breeding over a short time frame is to expose the seeds to chemical or radiation treatment. This is called mutagenesis and can result in altered and potentially beneficial new plant traits that would be further selected and developed. The value of food cannot be underestimated. We all rely on it. Because climate and culture are ever-changing, humans have been altering plants for thousands of years, developing crops with more desirable traits to enhance our social and economic well-being.